I love that I'm holding a tiny dog. <laughs> hey, everybody. Hi, we have a special guest. Daisy is over there. She's a senior citizen, and she doesn't have to get up on the couch no. if she doesn't want to. She's lived her life. She can do whatever she wants at this point. Yes, but uh, no, the good dog is over there. This is Rocky. He's the other dog. Don't ever let him say that about you. I think I just got away with it. So we wanted to do a non home on the RNG. Yeah. This is just we wanted to <laughs> We played Dragon Quest Eleven. We did play Dragon Quest Eleven. And we had to talk about it. We did. It's my it's favorite one now. So good. It is. It's the best one. Dragon Quest Eleven is so good. So what we'll do is we'll start spoiler free first. Oh. Okay. And then we'll get into some spoiler territory. <gasps> How do you even do that? And I never thought you I would have to You talk in broad strokes. No, I know how you do that. I'm I'll... just saying. So much I want to discuss, and kind of impressed that that's even a thing in a Dragon Quest game. I mean, they tend to be so cookie cutter. Yeah, this one. I mean, they're great games, <coughs> but the stories are just like RPG cliche. Usually, this one's really good. This one. So my experience with Dragon Quest Eleven was, for about four or five hours, I was like, "Yes, this is a solid Dragon Quest yeah, JRPG right. experience. This is exactly what I wanted." This is, this is fine. And then about every five hours, the game would go, oh, by the way, awesomeness. <laughs> like, here's some feels, here's some story you didn't see coming, here's a plot twist. Right. And then another four or five hours of, this is exactly what I signed up yeah. for, this is very comfortable, very enjoyable. And then, wah! Right? Yes, I absolutely agree. Which, which and it made the wah moments even better, because... Again, you're not, I wasn't expecting that from Dragon right. Quest. And I don't mean to make it sound like those four or five hours are boring or slow. They no. are exactly what I expected. The game alternates between good and great. Yeah. Then back to good, then up to great, then back to good. Uh, and there are really some unexpected plot twists. Yes, there are, definitely. Uh, it's ones not that you don't even know about. I haven't played the post-game content yet. Which isn't really even post-game content. You have not experienced the game in its entirety. I beat the you... game, and no. then I stopped playing because yeah. I had so many other games to play. I put it at the bottom of the backlog so I could get back to it. I beat the game, the credits rolled, and then I stopped playing. I understand. I understand. The credits are, the credits are misleading. So, I haven't played the post-game content gotcha. that Dragon Quest has become famous for. They've really started... But never adding... like this, is what I will say. Spoiler free, <clears throat> post-game has never been like this. There, I will say, I know right now there are a lot of unexplained mysteries that hopefully the post-game content will explain. Yes, you will. Because... Yeah. There are several events that, even from the opening okay. cutscene, I have questions that weren't answered in the right. game proper. No, exactly. Which is why, which is why I, on like a non, whatever level, which is why I was confused about trying to figure out where you had gotten to because there are so many things. It is very confusing that aren't answered. If you say, "Oh, I beat the final boss," and then you saw the f credits roll the first time. There is a lot of stuff that you still don't know. There is still a lot of stuff. I don't know why you have a trouble grasping with it. You know what? Here. I, come here. <laughs> come here for a second. No. This is my mother. She doesn't play video games. Mother, will you explain to Russ where I stopped playing this game? When you won the game, you stopped playing. Do you understand, I Russ? Do understand. Okay. Russ keeps going on about how it's hard to understand where I stopped playing. I beat the game. You're not hearing him. I don't think he's worth hearing. I beat the game, and then I stopped playing. So we're really not going to spoil the post-game content, because I haven't gotten there yet. No. But, uh, so, is there anything else we want to address spoiler-free? The characters? The characters are good. The characters are good. The characters are really good. Uh, the characters are good. The story is solid with unexpected twists. Uh, the mechanics are fine. There was one weird mechanic, though. The ability to move your characters around on the battlefield, which serves no function yeah, and doesn't change absolutely anything. absolutely not needed, and I forgot you could even It's do that. purely for aesthetics in case you want to take a picture, I guess? You could even turn that off. It just seemed no. like a really weird addition, yeah. since it doesn't... 
Like, you don't get extra points for beating an enemy from behind or sneaking up right. on them. There's no distance to your attack. It's just, for the first time, Dragon Quest went, look, move your characters around. It's fine. It won't do anything, but if you want to move, move. That was weird. That was weird. Okay. I'm trying to think if there's anything else spoiler-free we can address. I don't want to say anything until we can talk about spoilers, because that's the whole reason we're, that I wanted to talk we're about We're just going to sit here in quiet for a while. Well, that's fine. I have a dog to pet. And that is great for me. For the record, Daisy has moved over there now. Because <laughs> she's a senior citizen and she can do what she wants. Yes, she can. Yeah. Her taxes pay our salary. All right, fine. We can talk spoilers. So what was the most shocking thing that happened? For me, it was the final... I keep... When I was trying to tell, describe it to friends without spoiling it, I called it the Final Fantasy VI level twist. Oh, right. Yeah. Which is... At a certain point, about you, you really think you're ending... It would have been the end of a normal Dragon mm -hmm. Quest game. Like an old school Dragon Quest game, it would have been at the end. And then the bad guy won. Right. And the world was destroyed. And then the game kept going. Like, yeah. You just, it was absolutely Final Fantasy VI. My heroes just failed to save the world. And the story's not done. Right. And what happens after that happens? You have to go around re recruit. No, I'm I know, saying, I know, I know. <laughs> I know. That was like my favorite part of that whole game. You go around the world re recruiting your party again, like Final Fantasy VI. Oh, um, no, you don't know what I'm talking about. I uh, assume you, you're talking about the sisters. No. Oh. I'm just talking about when you lose to the main villain sure. and he destroys the world, your character is saved by the Mermaid Queen. Who turned you into an adorable little fish? Gosh, I've forgotten about that part. And you actually spend, Of course this is your favorite part. You actually spend an amount of time swimming the sea as a tiny fish to hide your identity that you are the great hero that is still alive, but in the form of a fish. Russ and I are two very different people. It is terrific. It is a, he has his little backpack on. <laughs> <laughs> it came full of twists I and turns and developments. Like five minutes staring at him as the hero, as that fish. <laughs> oh, God. Still carrying his little satchel of acorns <laughs> or whatever he had in there. Oh, goodness. I had forgotten about the fish thing. It, it had that small an impact terrific. on me. Terrific. It had a huge <laughs> impact on me. I know. It's your favorite part of the game. I had completely forgot it happened. I was like, how long is this going to go on, and can it be longer? <laughs> is this just who I am? <laughs> That's what I was wondering. Am I a fish for the rest of the game? This yes. would have been terrific. Um, but then, yes. The I thought you were bleeding up to the twin the sisters. sisters so, is uh, two of the characters in your party are twin sisters, although one of them was magically de-aged to be a little girl who still got the surly teenage attitude. And then was fine with it. Yeah. That's she, what bothered me. Yeah. When she was... When she I, guess, I guess... It, back, and when, the, when her parents saw her, they were just like, oh, yeah. yep, she's a little girl now. Like, okay. I have my magic back. I don't have my adult woman's body back, but that's cool. That's fine. I can just start over from six. She could just start dating pedophiles That's and it'll be fun. <laughs> that is exactly the same thing Jesus. I thought. The dating scene for her was going to be rough. <laughs> so. But uh, her and the twin sister, they, they have a very tight bond. Uh, the, little, the little girl one is basically the attack mage, and then the one that wasn't de-aged is the, the blonde healer. Is the healer, yeah. And then... Uh, after you go around and start trying to re-recruit your party. And you find out before that that they're like, that together as a whole, as a set, they're the reincarnation of the sage yeah, from because they, a thousand years it ago. It was passed down the line, but when they were born as twins. You're the reincarnation of the hero. They're together the reincarnation of his yeah. companion. Dragon Quest did something that I don't, recall it ever doing before. No. At least not just dramatically. No, now, no. You, you have a better memory for Dragon Quest than I do. But uh, the little girl dies. She does die. They've never she, done that before. She dies! She just does not survive. You find her corpse! Yeah. And it's like, my sister's dead? <laughs> like, she is dead. The, the, old, the other sister has a brief breakdown, actually chops off her hair, which changes her character model mm -hmm. for the rest of the game. Yep. And then inherits all of her dead sister's powers. 
which I think makes her overpowered, which I'm fine with. Oh, she's absolutely Because now she's not just the healer. She's the healer, and she gets all of the stuff, all of the leveling up that you did for the sister right. added on top of her. Uh, the leveling up system, I guess. It's, what about the leveling up system? How do we describe that? It's, it's board-based. You spend... Oh, yes. You get, you get your skill points. You spend um, skill points to upgrade your character in the direction that you like. Uh, each character can have at least three different weapons that they specialize in, and you can you can say basically, okay, I'm putting all my points in right. his ability to use a sword or a whip or knives. And then they have, like, personal characteristics. Like yeah. Like they have chivalry or whatever. Showmanship. Yes. We'll Did do. you want to talk about the flaming gay oh, character? Oh, Sylvando, yes. Um, I'll talk about my favorite part of Sylvando, but you start. I, I didn't... He wasn't useful in battle, which no. I was disappointed with because I did want to use him more. I he did use him very... when fighting metal slimes because well, I got him to the point where any time he attacked, he hit four times, which was great right. against slimes. Yeah. He was he was fine. He was obviously a very, very huge stereotype, but then he had an actual interesting backstory. Yes. Once you get to like that second act of the game and you start figuring out all the characters' actual backstories... And the characters actually do have deep backgrounds and motivations. Yes. Which, again, and... is weird for a Dragon Quest game. Yeah! I was very impressed. But my favorite is, the world ends. It is all darkness and despair and monsters, and all of your party members are separated, and each of them is, in their own way, trying to do a little bit of good in this dark world. They assume you're dead because you got turned into a fish. Sylvando has Sil decided that a gay pride parade marching yes. around the world <laughs> Sylvando goes, is going to... We're going to return everybody's smiles! Yes. And he gets all the gay men in the land, and they all wear peacock feathers, and they all they parade around the world making people smile. <laughs> it's so Absolutely. Fantastic. That was his solution. It is so bizarre. <laughs> Sylvando sees the world in and goes, Looks like it's time for a show. <laughs> And when you join his gay parade, he gives you peacock feathers. He does. And when your character wears his peacock feathers, he dances. He does dance. The whole time. Even if he's standing still, your character's just dance. <laughs> Russ just had heart surgery. He can't do the dance. I cannot do the dance. But... So the character's just dance. I mean, Rocky's doing the dance. He's prancing. He is prancing. It is, it is, it is prancing. I did like, there's a lot... Not all, but there's a lot of costumes that you can dress the characters yes. up in. If you complete this set, it actually changes their character model. Well, in the after game. Oh, God. <laughs> I didn't there get to the after game. More. Mother, why didn't I get to the after game? Because you won the game and you stopped. We got it. I didn't get to the after game content. I will. I will. I'm not done with Dragon Quest XI. I just had so many other Spoiler games as a backlog. Alert. You're a fish. The, the whole time. Game. Oh, God. Daisy's not happy about that. No. Daisy has opinions. Okay. Uh, yeah, easily my favorite Dragon Quest so far. Uh, and I've played all of them except for three and nine. And the online one that never came to America. But I yeah. think... Three and nine are the only two I haven't played yet, and we'll get to three at some point. We will get to three. Nine is skippable. Mm. Um, yeah, just, just, yeah, it was just fantastic. Yeah, if you're looking for a JRPG, if you're, if you're really thinking it's a dying art, and because Final Fantasies aren't anymore, and you know what it is here. Okay, so okay. I'm gonna get a little editorial. In oh here. God. So, this game was made by Square Enix. Yep. Yeah, right. Okay. So, more, more Enix than Square, but yeah. Well, right. One would hope. But it's the, it's the sure. same company now. It's different, it's different studios mm -hmm. that develop the games. I'm, I'm sure. Yep. They also did Final Fantasy XV. Uh, okay? Yeah. Final Fantasy XV has been out longer. Was not a complete game when they released it. Is still not a complete game. Had Just had five pieces of DLC that would help make it a complete game canceled. This game was released as a complete game, has Two never even games, really. had like an update patch, and is one of the, just one of the best games that I've played in, you know, the, the recent years, or whatever. Even if you haven't played Dragon Quests before. So I'm just saying, what's happening at Square Enix? 
<laughs> like, why? <laughs> why oh my gosh, they, they can not, still like, make a good game. Yeah, why can they not, like, walk across the hall to the Final Fantasy studio or whatever and be like, you guys need some help? Yeah. <laughs> like, like, we can We even made something that guys. was amazing. We can help we can... you with this. You haven't shared with the people at home the most influential part of Dragon Quest XI. It changed your life. Hendrick. Jade. Oh, Jade. Jade is a sexy lady. That's what I have to say about Jade. I got a text from Russ. <laughs> Uh, Jade is clearly... First of all, even her backstory surprised me with how good yeah. it was. But she is very obviously meant to be the eye She's candy. She's intended to be e- the even a lot of, woman yeah, that they even have in every dragon. Quest. Her costumes are like, here, put her in a bunny girl costume. And oh, did they? Yes. And that's when I got a text from Russ. Oh my god, that bunny girl costume. I think I'm straight. Yeah, I, just, I am. So... If you're looking for a way to straighten out your gay friends, Dragon <laughs> Quest XI. Jade in that bunny girl costume. <laughs> I mean, I thought it was going to be the standard one that all of the other girls were wearing, nope. and it is not. No. No. No, that'll straighten you out. Yeah. It's, that'll give, that'll yeah. put Jesus in your life. Not to mention that she's just a great character. I she, was always yeah. using her in battle all the time anyway. Oh, yeah. So I'm like, why would I not put her in that? Like, not only did they put in eye candy, but they also made her good and a compelling story. And like, oh my god. All of them had compelling stories, even though I didn't use most of them. Yeah. Uh, I used Eric all the time. I never used Hendrick, really. Oh, once I got him, I, yeah. It was... Once I got him, I was just... Because he comes later. Yeah. You get most of the characters early in the game, and then he doesn't come until later. But I had, like, him and Jade... And the hero, so I'm just obliterating all the enemies with physical attacks. And then Serena, and after her sister's dead, then she's all the magic in the whole game in one. Yeah. So it was not it was not a hard game once I got all. I all used them. Eric because I got him to the point with his knights where he was attacking four times every turn, basically. I I, I put I dumped all the damage dealing into my hero with his double handed sword. Did, what sword did you use for the Yeah, hero? I used the double-handed sword. Okay. I was kind of hoping you wouldn't, because I was curious. When you get the ultimate weapon, when I got to it, it was a double-handed sword. And yeah, I was like, I don't know. perfect, I that's what I put all my points into. I would have been really upset if I got this ultimate Why weapon. Why not use the double-handed sword? Because for, like, 2 MP, you can do an area attack. Yeah. But I'm wondering, did the game detect that I put all the points into double-handed sword so it made the final weapon that? Like, if I put all my points in the sword and For shield... For your second playthrough, that'll be a good uh, thing to try. The game was like 90 hours. Yes, it was. And you're not even done. Uh, I beat the game. I put in 90 hours, <laughs> beat the boss, got the credits, and went, I'll get yeah. to the rest of this later, even though I have so many unanswered questions. Well, I hope you get to it later soon, because it's... Because it, so, as much as that second act elevates it, the third act doesn't even... I will get to it. I still have to... I've got the three Persona dancing games coming out. I got Smash coming Don't you shake your I head. Won't even, I won't even give you, you my You got me into Persona that. in the first place. Not, a, not the dancing game. It's all connected by character and stories. It's all part of the same thing. You did this. I'm glad. I'm glad I could. This is Hyperdimension Neptunia all it over is. again. Anyway. I forgot that existed. How are they? They're doing well. How are those women? A new game is coming out in March. All right. Okay. Um, so I think that we, we've got yeah, that now. I mean, uh, the maybe, gist is go play. Go yeah, absolutely. Play. Uh, if you like JRPGs, there aren't a great deal of them coming out these days. There aren't. There, mm-hmm. Like in the Super Nintendo era, every other game was a JRPG for a while there. But nowadays, it's hard to find the big budget ones coming out. This is it. Go get it. Yeah. Uh, then beat the emboss, and then you can stop playing. Like I did. And then you can pick it up later, and it's like you've got a whole second game for free. Exactly. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. We're done? We're done. Are Say we bye, done, Rocky. Rocky. <gasps> Say bye-bye. Say bye-bye. Daisy's just licking her bed. <laughs> That's what she does. <laughs>